So we want to be able to predict for our one versus all logistic regression. Um, and so we've trained all 10 different logistic regression classifiers. And we've trained them all for all of the 10 different classes that we have. And all of those weights or, or values, train parameters, theta, or stored in all theta. So what we want is to generate prediction predictions virtual first of all, which we use sigmoid for. But we need to check first how should we multiply all theta and our our um, input x. So if we run this, we see that we have x, which is our input. So we have five thousand uh, examples of images, and all of them have about four hundred pixels. And our parameter alt data has 401 train parameters uh, and 10 for and for 10 different classifiers. So for all of the 10 uh, digits. So we can see here is that what we want to calculate is our predictions to be the sigmoid of x times alt data from the transpose. So if we run this and look at it, we see that okay, there's a lot of a lot of them. But if you look at the top, for example, our first image. Remember here that the first here the index zero is a zero, and this is a image one, image two, etc. Up to nine. So for this one, the probability or our prediction is quite high that this is a a a 9 and similarly for uh, many of these and then when we scroll down a little bit we get their ones etc so what we want now is that we want the, the maximum values from our predictions and that's the, the final prediction that we make right now we have actually made 10 predictions and all of them had different probabilities and we want to see well which one is the greatest. So what we can use is MATLAB's max function. So we take the maximum of the predictions and we do it. I'm not sure what this does to be honest, but uh, it's in the documentation to use it. But along the dimension for us to do, we want to take it for each for one row and look at all of the columns and take maximum of those and that's the dimension 2 and we from that we get a max value and the indices for it and so what we can do is that we can check uh, so maximum values would be 5000 by 1 so we can take max value Let's just do, look at 10 of them. So if we run it, we get something like this. And we recognize this one. We can run it again just to make sure. Predictions. We get all of the 5,000. And let's see, we've taken out the 10 first one. So remember, a 10 here means that it, the number is a 9. And here's the probability that we believe it's a nine so this one and we do that for all five thousand so after that what we do is that we just return the indices so that's essentially what we care which which uh, digit do we believe that this image is and uh, let's see so yeah when we do that we get the training set accuracy of about uh, 95 percent which is um, yeah, about what we should get. So, thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one.